Clashers, what's going on? This is CC Play here and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be taking my Cupid to a long, long awaited 9 of 10 skill. So Cupid's arrow skill is going to be coming a 9 of 10. That's my first 9 of 10. Um, I was going to get my Pumpkin Duke up, but talking to a few guys, they said it's much more worthwhile taking your Cupid to 9 of 10. So what I'm going to do is give her a couple of slimes, give him a couple of slimes. I'm going to fail my connection and reconnect. I don't know why my connection failed then. That is really weird. Okay, so I'm going to reconnect and I'm going to take him to 9 of 10. Then I'm going to show you that in a dungeon, show you before and after, and then do some arena raids. And then maybe I'll finish off with some Lost Battlefields as well, as I haven't really done a Lost Battlefield for months now. Um, so I want you guys to see how far I've progressed. So first of all, I'm going to show you the difference between an 8 of 9 skill and a 9 of 9 skill. So... Cupid at 8 of 9 increases friendly hero's energy by 45, so that's like 45% of the full bar, and their damage increases by 45% for 6 seconds, which is crazy. So, let us go into a dungeon and... I kind of need to go into sort of an easy one. Attack. Okay, cool. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to put Pumpkin Duke in the far corner and we're going to put our... Cupid in just beforehand and see how high his proc raises Pumpkin Duke's stack. So, or Pumpkin Duke's proc rather. So we're going to put that in there. Cupid in. So as you can see, it is, as it says, 45% is just under halfway of Pumpkin Duke's proc, which is really, really cool. I mean, Cupid is such a good hero for beginning raids or beginning hippie monsters or hero trials or anything of that matter lost realm lost battlefield anything i use my cupid everywhere because it's an instant buff to all of your heroes like now he every time he procs it is giving pumpkin duke a 45 percent extra damage which is it's just crazy okay so we're going to end that now i'm not going to go all over yay four shot drop um and I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to 9 of 10. So consume, I'm going to consume items. I am 799900 and boom, 9 of 10 Cupid with a 5 of 5 revitalize, which is, it's awesome. Okay, so increases for any heroes. Oh my god, it went up 10%. So by, by 55, it increases their damage by 55%. Which is just crazy. So let's go into that same dungeon here. Don't ask me why I picked this dungeon. I just felt like it. So we're going to put him in. Get a cupid. As you can see, it is way over halfway of the bar filled. Which means that for the likes of Warlock, um, a proc from Cupid is going to fill his bar immediately. So Cupid's going to proc and Warlock's bar is filled immediately. So... It's like having almost a 5 of 5 revitalize on any hero that is already equipped with a 3 of 5 revitalize. So, for example, Ares with a 4 of 5 revitalize, one Cupid proc brings him up to a 5 of 5 revitalize, which is just awesome. Cupid is just amazing. I love my Cupid. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and show you guys a couple of arena runs, show you how I do arena these days. Um... I'm a little bit stuck at the moment as my Santa Boom, I'd love to use a Marina, but his proc just isn't strong enough yet. So what I mean by that is when the Santa procs, he just fills the guy's other guy's energy bars rather than actually killing them. So for now, I am just using my Vlad Draclia. Draclia? Dracula. So I'm using Pumpkin Duke, Spirit Mage, Cupid, Vlad, Ares and Warlock. Um, my Vlad is my stunner when he inflicts fear. Ares is a debuffer, Warlock is a debuffer and has that shield, and my Pumpkin Duke, Cupid, and Spirit Mage are there. No, Pumpkin Duke and Cupid are for buffing, and my Spirit Mage is just for damage. So, let's go ahead and see this Cupid proc. Oh, everyone is proccing literally almost straight after. I'm going to lose this one, because he had a Skull Knight, um, who... As we know is OP, but if we go down in the same lane as that Skull Knight, we should beat it. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer on this one, just so you guys can see the 
full effect of that Cupid Brock. Okay, so we zoom in. Skylight's going to give more aggro. So as you can see, everyone is proccing almost instantly, which is really, really awesome. And we should rinse through this if we can get rid of that Skull Knight. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, awesome. So as you can see, the power of that Cupid giving a 55% attack bonus. That's crazy. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Oh, I love Cupid. <laughs> Okay, cool. So I'm going to finish this off and then I'm going to take you into a lost battlefield battle um, to show you guys my current setups in there and how useful this 9 of 10 Cupid's going to be. Come on, I'm going to finish the one off. I do apologize that my uh, arena is slacking at the moment. I'm in around about rank 5, 6,000. I was around the rank 900 mark, um, but... As you probably know, if you guys do high arena ranks, it takes a lot of effort to stay up there because you'll go back after half an hour and it'll have gone down by like 15,000. No matter how good your defense is, someone's always going to be better than you. <laughs> okay, so the good thing about my 9 of 10 cubit, it means that I can start getting everyone else up to 7 of 10 because I've been slacking on my Warlock and my Santa Boom, which need to go up. My Warlock is definitely going to be the first one I'm taking up to 7 of 10 and then my Santa Boom. So yeah, let's go into Lost Battlefield, which I haven't done today. I was rank 5,116 last night, so I'm going to try and get even higher today. So teams that I use, my first team is basically what I call my deflect team. So I've got Atlanticore, Warlock, Vlad, Orc and Spirit Mage in there. My Warlock and my... Atlanticore have deflect procs, um, so Warlock is going to give three of my guys a deflect as well as my Atlanticore deflecting itself. Um, I've got my Orcs Bane in there as a healer and my Spirit Mage and Vlad as just as DPS. My second team is what I've always called my super team. Um, it's now got a 9 of 10 Cupid in there. And basically what happens is my Thunder God takes all the aggro. Um, and just before he procs, he gets a buff from Cupid and PD and smashes them and usually wipes out the whole team in one proc. Druid's just there for another buff as well. So I've got three buffers, a big debuffer from my Ares. And it, yeah, he usually wipes out most teams. And then finally, my last team is just a mismatch of heroes, um, but they are all really good. Um, they've got good procs. My Santa Boom and my Pixie are debuffers. Um, Reaper is a self healer. My Siren it has a good slowdown on it, as everyone Siren does. And my Death Knight gives everyone a shield and has revive. So, and one more thing, guys. Every one of my front heroes has revive, so that when they come back, um, usually they'll proc straight away, which you will see in here. So, let's go in and do this. I usually do one, two, three, and let's go for it. Okay, we're going to struggle if that Atlanticore has a revite. Let's hope that my Atlanticore gets all the aggro. And, oh, is my Atlanticore on proc? Yes! Okay, so we need one good proc from Vlad. Awesome. Okay, so I know it's annoying for everyone else, but as you can see, the power of Atlanticore is just, is just amazing. So this is probably going to be a 5 of 5 revite. Ares. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we're going to lose that one. <laughs> we are definitely going to lose that one and I doubt I'm going to win with my last team because yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm not even going to do that oh dear, this is the problem I'm coming across lately is fighting evolved heroes is just so so hard I mean it's almost unfair fighting evolved heroes with unevolved heroes okay so that's an evolved death knight in the centre there Come on, Atlanticore, get a shield up, and we should win this one. Awesome, okay. So first one won, and let's hope the second one goes to plan so you can see what happens with the Thunder God. Okay, yes, we're going to win this one. Okay, so Thunder God gets his proc up, revives, bam, and almost takes out that whole team. So that is the advantage of having a revive on a Thunder God, guys. If you've got one, put him at the front. It's really, really useful. So... Let's go ahead here. I think I'm just going to go through an entire Lost Battlefield run with you all because I don't think I've done one of these yet. Okay, 
So we should win this as well if Atlanticore revives with his shield. Awesome. The best thing about having a Atlanticore's shield up is just as the enemy team's PD stacks. Because then they all attack a lot, lot faster and basically die even quicker. So again, Thunder God's going to proc. They're all stunned by Ares. And with that Cupid proc, everyone is proccing almost instantly. It's awesome. Um, okay, I am going to risk it. Um and go for this evolved santa team um, i do this just because i like fighting evolved heroes just to the faint chance that i might win i'm not gonna win this one. Oh god that's a refight aries as well oh god that was quick wow oh my goodness those teams are amazing okay wow look at that evolved atlanticore that is sick awesome okay i might win this one yeah <laughs> screw you evolve team oh and then i'm gonna get wiped out by this unless a miracle happens <laughs> so that was cool i won one battle against a fully evolved team um let's go for someone more my size and hopefully we can win this one he's got an atlanticore as well okay I'm going to struggle on this one. We need my Atlanticore to proc first. Oh, why didn't it revive? My Atlanticore didn't revive. No. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> they all had like massive revives on them. Okay, this hasn't been too successful. Whoa, okay. I, I might win if he's got a really bad final team. Okay, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yes. No, no, no. I was hoping there'd be low levels. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Ah, oh, okay. So that was a pretty poor lost battlefield. I know that was because I attacked people far too high at level than me than I should have done. Um, yeah, my rank's not going to be very good this season. <laughs> I am still yet to break a thousand. I've the closest I've got was nine hundred and sixty something. Um, so if you guys have got any tips about beating lost battlefields, um, just drop them in the comment section below. That's it from this video, guys. Quick review of my Cupid to nine of ten. He's just perfect at the moment. He is absolutely great. And I cannot wait to get my heroes evolved, but it's taking so, so long to level them up now, especially as I got some new heroes lately with the Warlock, Pixie, and Santa Boom. Um, I've been focusing on those a lot more than I should have done. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it from the, this video. Please drop a like and subscribe. Keep it easy. And this is CC out.